This is your daily news update. Newsman Dennis Daly reports on some of today's current events. Now, with the latest update, here's Dennis. Hi, and thanks again, everybody. Let me start today's report by saying I love cats, but I don't like dogs that much, so maybe it's odd that I picked up a story today about puppies in the Houston Chronicle. If you've been a parent, then you know that there are certain ages at which you expect a baby and a toddler to be able to do certain things. But what if you're the first-time owner of a puppy? Well, according to the Chronicle, lots of puppy owners have the incorrect belief that young dogs are not capable of learning very much at an early age. On the contrary, early training of a puppy is the best time. Instead of waiting till later and allowing the puppy to learn bad behavior, the thing to do is to start when the dog is only 10 weeks old. The puppy is generally old enough to stay awake and participate in short training sessions at that age. First of all, you have to be patient, though. The paper says that means no yelling, no harsh treatment. It is still early in a puppy's life, and harsh treatment and abuse can ruin the dog's psyche forever. That reminds me of something the pet expert Warren Eckstein once said. He commented that far too many pets think that their name is no because they hear the word so often. Additionally, puppies have a very short attention span, so you should train them in short intervals. Keep everything basic. Remember, a young puppy is not going to sit in one place or stay more than just a few seconds. But you should concentrate on teaching the puppy to sit, use the command down, the command to come, and have no biting, no jumping, and no nipping. Train the puppy early and it might even grow up to be a nice dog. I'm Dennis Daly with your daily news update.